So, ladies and gentlemen, um, one thing that you are going to see quite a bit a lot, a lot this actually comes in a lot with um, word problems that we will be getting into, Brian, later. And so the main important thing that we want to do is that rather than, this is what we, um, degrees, minutes, and seconds. So the main important thing I want you guys to think about is just kind of think about time. This is really the best way that this kind of makes sense. Um, if we were going to think about time, right, we have one hour, two hour, but that's not very specific, right? If I was going to say, hey, me, meet me at 4 o'clock, meet me at 5 o'clock, we want to get more specific, then we can go into minutes. Hey, it takes four minutes and, you know, meet me at 4.30, right? Uh, meet me at 5.30. So we can get even smaller increments. And then if we, even if we want to get smaller, meeting somebody in seconds is not really something realistic. But if you're going to be monitoring how fast somebody does something, we look into seconds, right? Milliseconds, right? We can get smaller and smaller increments of time. So time, we break down into hours, minutes, seconds, and then we can further you know, break that down. Well, in the same thing, guys, degree, we know that a circle has 360 degrees all the way around. However, what if we want to break down a degree into smaller and smaller increments? Well, just like time, we break that down into minutes and seconds. And just like time, what we do is we calculate how many minutes does it take to make a degree. And it's the same kind of conversion with how many minutes does it take to make an hour? So 60 minutes is one hour. It's also one degree. Actually, let me rewrite it the other way. One degree is equivalent to 60 minutes. OK? Also, one degree is, so if you think about it, there's 60 minutes in an hour, well, how many seconds are there? Well, there's 60 seconds in a minute, and then 60 minutes in an hour, so that's 60 times 60, which is 3,600. So you could say there's 3,600 seconds in one degree. Would you guys agree with my mathematics on that portion? So what we want to do is we want to plug this in the calculator. There actually is a way for us to plug this into our calculator, but what I'm going to focus on is using decimals because that's going to make our life much, much easier. So if I wanted to rewrite this as a decimal, basically what we have is 48 degrees plus how many 30 minutes, but how many minutes does it take to make a degree? How many? 60. So we have 30 out of 60 minutes. Does that kind of make sense? Because if we had 60 out of 60 minutes, that would be an extra degree, right? So therefore, we'd have 49 degrees. But we don't have 60 out of 60 degrees. We only have. I'm sorry, we don't have 60 out of 60 minutes. We only have 30 out of 60 minutes, correct? And then plus I have 36, sorry, out of 3,600, um, 3,600 seconds. So I have 36 out of 3,600 seconds. just want to make sure I have that. 0.01. Okay, so I thought one over 100. Um, so now what we can do is we can convert these to decimals. So we have 48 degrees. Well, 30 out of 30 minutes, how, how can we rewrite that as a basically a degree? That is 0.5 of a degree, right? Would you say that's like a half of a degree? 30 out of 60 minutes? Would you guys agree? 30 out of 60 minutes? And then you could reduce this. Um, 36 goes into 36 one times. 36 goes into um, 3,600 100 times. So you have 1 over 100. 1 over 100 is going to be 0 0.01 degree. And again, guys, you could plug these into your calculator. You're going to have a calculator on any kind of problem like this. But I want you guys to kind of know the process. And then all we're simply going to do is combine them together. And there you go. That's your final answer. Okay. Now, when you're plugging or doing a math problem, 